Welcome back to Kentucky Sports Television. Joining us now on the phone is one of our favorite guests, one of the greatest players in the history of UK football, Derek Abney is on the line. Derek, thank you for uh, taking some time to talk with us. Uh, as always, it's a pleasure, TJ. This is the part of the season we've seen now what Mark Stoops has done uh, in spring football, implemented some things. There's going to be a lot of building towards the chemistry of the quarterbacks and the wide receiver in this new offense. This time of the year, if you're a wide receiver and you've played in this system, <laughs> what are the things you're doing to prepare yourself uh, to take the field in the fall? Well, you know, a lot of it is just getting with your quarterback and, and really putting together a summer program uh, to get the receivers out there with the quarterbacks and the cornerbacks and just getting the reps in and the feel uh, for each other and especially uh, implementing this new offense. How different is the offense? And as a fan, of course, we'll see uh, a big difference. But for a player, how different is it if you're a wide receiver moving into a new offense? Because, I mean, some people just say, well, you're, at the end of the day, you're just running routes still, you know? <laughs> well, you know, fortunately, this is a simple offense um, with a lot of different uh, motion and a lot of different formations. But uh, really, it's a fairly simple offense. So if you can take advantage of the summer to just get your reps in, um, learning a new offense is difficult, but with this one, um, and I know Neil would make it as simple as possible. And so it's really kind of focusing on the fine details and not having to learn just a plethora of plays. How much, you know, at this depth chart right now, there are a couple of guys who, who made some plays last season, a lot of walk-ons, and then there'll be some freshmen coming in. I know there's a big adjustment, of course, uh, moving to college football, especially in the SEC. If you're looking at guys like Ryan Timmons uh, and Jevis Blue, how much of an impact do you think freshmen can make uh, for Kentucky in this offense or even get on the field this season? Well, the offense also allows players to work in space, um, which is an advantage for freshmen, um, as opposed to going, you know, man-to-man -man for some older, uh, more mature defensive athletes. So I think they can, um, they can have an impact right away. Uh, there are some good recruits, like you said, with both of them. Timmons being, I mean, being so, being 185 pounds and, and running as fast as he does, it, he's got he's a quality player. So I think they can impact right away, not only uh, as the athletes they are, but the system that this is. Do you see uh, a little Derek Abney and Ryan Timmons when you watch those videos? Uh, nah, he's a, he's like I said, he's a little bit bigger than me. If I, I, I dripping wet, I was probably about 160 coming out of high school. So, <laughs> so he's you know he's fast. He's a little bit bigger. Um, I'm excited for him in the program. Um, uh, there's a just a, the amount of success Mark Stoops has had, not only on the offensive side but the defensive side as well, has just been amazing. And you know, I'm I'm sort of preaching to the choir, and everybody knows that it's just been a wonderful change to be so excited in the football off season. It, the quarterback situation, uh, you have three guys who have all played significant, uh, and Patrick Tolles maybe not not so much, but guys that you believe that, that have the talent to get the job done in the spring game. Um, Jalen Whitlow came away looking like he, he had the mm -hmm. best command of the offense and can make the best plays. If you're looking at those three guys, who do you have on day one the most confidence in? Well, um, I, I think Whitlow. And, you know, it's hard to take too much from a spring game. It is, it is some pressure. It is uh, big-time nerves, you know, for those that have just started or, uh, or some of the transfers or the, the freshmen but, uh, or the, the guys that didn't play a lot. But, uh, you know, he had a good, he had a good uh, game. But overall, I think all of them can succeed in this offense. Uh, it is the SEC. It's going to be difficult. But uh, Neil does a good job of, of allowing the, the kids to just uh, make plays and react as opposed to thinking about it too much. So I think all of them can, can be successful at quarterback. Does that make it more difficult for a wide receiver? When you, we talked about uh, getting those reps in and working. Is it more difficult when you don't know who that starting quarterback is going to be? Does it make a big difference on who you're catching the passes from, how the ball's thrown? Uh, a little bit. I mean, with Jared, when I played Jared Lorenzen, he was a lefty, and then he had Shane as a righty. So you, on the deep balls especially, it was a little different just the way it would tail off. But, uh, you know, besides that, a ball is coming at you no matter what, you know, spin it is. It's your job if you get your hands on it to catch it. And, uh, you know, for me, that was just the biggest thing. It didn't matter who was throwing it. If I, if I have an opportunity to catch it, I, I needed to catch it. So a little bit of an impact, but nothing they can't overcome. Now, the excitement is there. The recruiting has picked up. They've gotten into Ohio, uh, maybe down into Florida. When you look at the season, though, it's still a team that was 2-10 last year. 
If you're going to say this is a successful season in year one for Mark Stoops, what are the things that you want to see uh, by the end of the year that you will say this was a great first season? Uh, improvement on both sides of the ball. Um, maybe, you know, uh, getting a couple SEC games, winning one, uh, you know, versus uh, one of the two versus Louisville and Western. That way, you know, obviously it, it, Western would be a little bit easier. But, uh, you know, in the end, four and eight would be would be wonderful. Um, I think that uh, the athletes he's brought in, the, the uh, class that we're going to have in 2014 as well, it's just it's going to be an improvement um, no matter which way you look at it, whether they go, you know, three and three and nine, four and uh, four and eight, what have you. So uh, any improvement uh, of play and of uh, record would just be wonderful. I was going to say national championship. Anything else was a bust. So you were nicer <laughs> than I was. <laughs> Derek, thank that you. That would be awesome. Don't get me wrong. That's always the goal. <laughs> Derek, hey, thank you for the time. Always enjoy talking with you. I look forward to catching up again soon. You bet, TJ.